Welcome to the King of Racing YouTube channel. Today we're going to be covering the Breeders' Cup, which is less than a few months away. It's going to be in early November, and it's going to feature the best horses in the entire world and millions upon millions of dollars in purse money. And so there's going to be 14 races in the Breeders' Cup, and today I'm going to be going over each and every race and all the horses that have qualified so far and all the races that will be coming that will produce more qualifiers for those races. And I must remind you before I begin, please subscribe to my channel. I think about 99% of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed. So I ask that you kindly please subscribe to my channel. And I will now begin to go through the different races that the Breeders' Cup is going to offer. The first one is the Juvenile Turf. It's going to be $1 million. And there are five qualifying spots for this race. The Champions Juvenile Stakes at Leopardstown in Dublin, Ireland on September 11th. So lots of fall racing for this one. Summer Stakes Woodbine on September 19th up in Canada. The Royal Lodge Stakes at the New Market in the United Kingdom on September 25th. The Prix Jean-Luc Lagardère at France, October 3rd, and the Bourbon Stakes at Keeneland on October 10th. The Juvenile Phillies Turf Race is yet another one with five qualifying spots. None of them have been filled yet, so lots of fall racing for this one. First, the Moy Glare Stud Stakes at Curra on September 12th in Ireland. The Natalma Stakes at Woodbine in Canada on September 19th. The Shadowell Rockfall Stakes at New Market in the UK on September 24th and the Prix Marcel Boussac at France on October 3rd, and the Jessamine Stakes at Keeneland on October 3rd. Next is the $1 million Juvenile Turf Sprint. The first horse that's qualified is Perfect Power out of Ireland, and Perfect Power is actually qualified twice at the Norfolk Stakes on June 17th at Ascot in the United Kingdom, and then again at the Darley Prix Morny at August 22nd in France. So this horse is qualified twice. And then you have the Speakeasy Stakes at Santa Anita in October, and the Indian Summer Stakes in Keeneland and Kentucky, and the Futurity Stakes at Belmont on October 10th. So three October races and one horse that is qualified twice. The next million dollar race is the Dirt Mile. There are only two qualifying spots for this one, but there will be many more horses running in this race. The first one is Silver State. Silver State won the June 5th Met Mile at Belmont Park. And then the other one, the other spot for qualification is going to be August 28th, this coming Saturday at Del Mar in the Pat O'Brien Stakes. For the $1 million filly and mare sprint, the first qualifying horse is Cece. Cece won the Princess Rooney Stakes at Gulfstream Park over the summer. And the next qualifier will come from the Ballerina Stakes at Saratoga on August 28th. And finally, the Thoroughbred Club of America at Keeneland on October 9th will supply the final qualifying horse. For the $1 million turf sprint, the first horse that's qualified is Casa Creed. Casa Creed won the Jaipur Stakes Turf Sprint at Belmont Park on June 5th. And then the next one is Dream of Dreams. Dream of Dreams is out of Ireland, won the Diamond Jubilee Stakes on June 19th at Ascot. And then the final one that's already qualified is Winter Power, also out of Ireland at York, August 20th. And Winter Power won the Coolmore Nunthorpe Stakes. And then we have the Turf Sprint at Kentucky Downs on September 11th. The day after, at Curac, we have the Flying Five Stakes, and then in France, on October 3rd, we have the Prix de la Abaille, don't know how to say that, de Longchamp. And so those are the six qualifying races for this one. The first $2 million race is the Sprint, and the first horse that's qualified for that is the Mind Control. Mind Control won the John A. Nerod Stakes on July 4th at Belmont Park. And then next is Dr. Schivel, who won the Bing Crosby Stakes at Del Mar. And then on October 2nd, there's going to be the Santa Anita Sprint Championship at Santa Anita Park. And then the Phoenix Stakes at Keeneland on October 8th. And then the day after, the Vosburg at Belmont on October 9th. So five qualifying horses for this race. Up next is the $2 million Breeders' Cup Mile. And a lot of horses have qualified for this race already. And the first one is Jet Dark that qualified in January at Kenilworth in South Africa. And so Jet Dark is out of South Africa. Next is Successo. And Successo won the Gran Premio Club Ipico Falabea and May 2nd at Club Ipico in Chile. And then next up is the Smooth Like Straight, a very successful horse. And Smooth Like Straight won the Shoemaker Mile at Santa Anita Park on May 31st. Then next is Dana Kingley out of Japan, won the Yasuda Kinen in Japan. And then Palace Pier. Palace Pier has won multiple races out of Great Britain. First, the Queen Anne Stakes at Ascot, and then the uh, Prix du Haras de Fresnay Le Bouffard Jacques Le Marois in France on August 15th. And then Alcohol Free is the next one. Alcohol Free won the Qatar Sussex Stakes, and that would be at Goodwood on July 28th. A pretty big race there. And then God Stormy is the next one. God Stormy won the Four Star Dave on August 14th at Saratoga at odds of 10 to 1. That was a fun one to watch. 
and then the Woodbine Mile on September 18th, and the Keeneland Turf Mile on October 9th at Keeneland are the next two qualifiers for the nine horses that will be qualifying in this race. Another Breeders' Cup race for $2 million is the Breeders' Cup Distaff. The first qualified horse is Blue Stripe out of Argentina. Blue Stripe on May 1st won the Gran Premio Criadores. And then the next one is Latrusca. Latrusca was qualified twice, winning the Ogden Phipps Handicap on June 5th at Belmont. And then again, winning the Fleur de Lis Stakes on June 26th at Churchill Downs. So Latrusca's qualified twice, which is impressive. And then She Dares the Devil, another horse that's been around for quite a bit. Won the Clement L. Hirsch Stakes on August 1st at Del Mar. And then there's three more races for qualifiers. Personal Ensign, Saratoga, August 28th. The Zenyatta Stakes at Santa Anita on October 3rd. And then the Spinster Stakes at Keeneland on October 10th. Next up is the Juvenile Phillies $2 million race. None of the horses have qualified yet. The first one's going to be Pocahontas Stakes at Churchill Downs on September 18th. Next is Chandelier Stakes, Santa Anita on October 1st. Then the Frizette Stakes at Belmont on October 3rd. And the Dali Alcibiades Stakes at Keeneland on October 8th. For the $2 million filly in Mare Turf, the first qualified horse is Queen Supreme. Queen Supreme out of Ireland won the Cartier Paddock Stakes on January 9th at Kenilworth in South Africa. Next is Gran Alegria, won a Japanese race. That was the Victoria Mile in Japan on May 16th. Then Reina de Moyendo won a race in Argentina. That was the Gran Premio Pamplona on June 26th. And then Snowfall out of Japan won the Darley Yorkshire Oaks on August 19th at a York race course in the UK. Next up is the Flower Bowl at Saratoga on September 4th, the Matron Stakes at Leopardstown in Ireland on September 11th, the Rodeo Drive Stakes at Santa Anita on October 2nd, the Prix de la Opera at France on October 3rd, and First Lady in Keeneland on October 9th. So lots of September and October racing, making up half the field for the Philly and Mary Turf. The last $2 million race is the Juvenile, often a predictor of success in the Kentucky Derby. And there are four qualifying spots for this one, none of which have been filled yet. On September 18th, at Churchill Downs is the Iroquois Stakes, and then at the American Pharaoh Stakes at Santa Anita on October 1st, the Champagne at Belmont on October 2nd, and the Breeders' Futurity at Keeneland on October 9th. So these will be fun races to watch as they can often predict winners of the Kentucky Derby. The only $4 million race in the Breeders' Cup is the Turf Race, which has 10 qualifying spots, half of which have already been filled. The first one is Cool Day out of Argentina, won at San Isidro on December 19th, 2020. Next up is Love out of the United Kingdom, won the Prince of Wales' stakes at Ascot. Then Chronogenesis won in Japan, and Adyar won the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth stakes. And then Astronaut won the Del Mar Handicap, and that was on August 21st at Del Mar. And then coming up, we have the Sword Dancer stakes at Saratoga on August 28th, coming up very soon. The Calumet Turf Cup at Kentucky Downs on September 11th. And then the Irish Champion Stakes at Leopardstown on September 11th. And also on September 11th, the Jockey Club Derby Invitational at Belmont. And then finally, the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe at France on October 3rd. The final and most important race in the Breeders' Cup is the Breeders' Cup Classic with a $6 million purse size. Nine qualifying spots for this one, and the first one has been taken up by Café Faro. Café Faro is the offspring of the famous American Faro and won the February Stakes on February 21st in Japan. And then we have Maxfield. Maxfield has been around for quite a long time and won the Stephen Foster Stakes on June 26th at Churchill Downs to qualify for this race. Next up is Max Player. Max Player won the Suburban Stakes at Belmont Park on July 3rd. And then Mandaloon. Mandaloon, a Kentucky Derby horse, won the Haskell Stakes on July 17th, famously beating out Hot Rod Charlie in that disqualification. And that was at Monmouth Park. The fifth spot goes to Nixco, winner of the Pegasus World Cup earlier this year, but more importantly, the winner of the Whitney Stakes on August 7th at Saratoga, and that's the fifth spot. Number six is Mishrif, a horse that has run very good races in both Dubai and Saudi Arabia, won the Judmont International Stakes on August 18th at York Racecourse in the United Kingdom. Mishrif is out of Ireland. And then finally, Tripoli. Tripoli won the TVG Pacific Classic on August 21st at Del Mar. And then we have two more races for qualification. We have the Jockey Club Gold Cup, which will be at Saratoga, and I also read that Swiss Skydiver could be in that race, and that'll be on September 4th. And then finally, the Awesome Again Stakes at Santa Anita on October 2nd. Thank you for watching my video, and I ask that you please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below what you think of the Breeders' Cup and all of its races. And I appreciate your support, and in the coming weeks and months, we will continue to cover more horse races, horse racing replays, and continue to post more about the Breeders' Cup, which will be in early November.